For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody say! The kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is here. It's right here, it's not here, it's right now. It's right here, it's not here, it's right now. The kingdom of God is here. Somebody say. This is Kingdom Living Now. My name is Danette Tullock, and with me are Pastor Bobby Somers, Pastor Julian Mills, and Brother Christopher Holder. We have been talking about the royal mandate of the Holy Spirit, and for the last few episodes, we're dealing with the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love and of a sound mind. Um, we've been talking about the spirit of the sound mind and it's been, you know, just an amazing to see the, the capacity of what is given to us, mm -hmm. enabling us to think like God. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and this is where the church and those who are really listening to us need to stop and think about it. You have to think about what we're saying mm -hmm. in order for yeah. you to really get it. Because if we don't accept and believe that we can think like God, that's not gonna benefit us. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what God wants. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he wanted. That's why he's giving us this. Because if that's not what he wanted, why would he give us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the spirit of power, mm -hmm. spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind, which is his mind is his thoughts that the spirit is conveying to our yes, mind yes, yes. so that we're thinking God thoughts so that we can put him on display mm -hmm. glorify him and in uh, one of the previous episodes we looked at um, St. John chapter 5 where Jesus says the father shows me mm -hmm. what he what he's doing mm -hmm. so that's why I so when when he healed the man on the Sabbath day and did the Pharisees wanted to kill him He's saying, I didn't just get up and, you know, decide out of yeah. my own. It wasn't my own thing or thinking my own or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I saw the father yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was, and, and what the father is doing, it's not, it's not about a day or, or whatever you may mm -hmm. think. It, it transcends time. It transcends time. Mm -hmm. That these things have been concluded with him before time yeah. begun. Mm -hmm. Even before <laughs> the Sabbath. <laughs> right, right, because he's operating from eternity now, right? Ah. So, so, so whatever happened in eternity and when he wants it expressed, whatever day it is, that's kind of irrelevant. That's, yeah. that, that's the time. That's the time for it, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. So we, 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 we're, we're also bringing into this, this sound mind, we, we see um, um, where First Corinthians allow us to see that the sound mind is also the mind of Christ. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5, mm -hmm. it said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we see how it put itself on display as we look at Jesus in St. John chapter 5. And um, just before you read the next scripture, um, I'm just thinking about us having the mind of Christ and thinking like God, operating and functioning like God. Mm -hmm. Is it... Um, hard to conceive that because we we see God as a far off we see him as God and he's over there and yeah we it's are in, here. in some in some, in some yeah. cases that's how people are viewing mm -hmm. viewing the whole thing because when you think of what has um, affected the church over the years a lot of uh, paganism uh, religion and from different different backgrounds and stuff like that in, in religion outside of the kingdom of God, I would say, I would even say outside of Christianity, how they view their God, it was mm -hmm. that they did not see themselves in nowhere form mm -hmm. equal to the God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're close. always seeing the God at a distance yeah. and they yeah. are, they're nothing, they're, 
puny and yeah. insignificant servants, right? and yeah. mere servant. Mm -hmm. And they're always doing whatever they're doing to appease mm -hmm. the gods. Right, right. Now we see this God, the God of this, the Bible, the God of Jesus Christ, he is the one that made us. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that he is God, it is he that has made us and not we are for ourselves. And he is a God of purpose. Mm -hmm. So he made us for a purpose. And the purpose for which he made us is to be his son. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a frightening thought in religion. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Even where Christianity, that we call Christianity. So people, you mean, I, I, I am a son of God? Mm -hmm. Me, whole wretched sinner? Well, and, and the problem is, <laughs> <laughs> you see, because we're seeing ourselves as a body, as, yeah. as, a, as, as flesh and blood, ah. yes, yes. when he didn't, mm. Create us merely, he didn't create us in the, flesh the and blood. Flesh and blood is our house in Yeah, time. the yeah. flesh and blood covered who yeah. he really made. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Yes. Yeah. Which is made us in his image and in his likeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that made is what? Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. spirit. Yeah. His yeah. image and likeness mm -hmm. is spirit. Mm -hmm. And he clothed the spirit mm -hmm. in the flesh and blood mm -hmm. for it to function yeah. in time. Yeah. 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 To fulfill mm -hmm. its assignment so, in this planet. Yeah. So the yeah. flesh and blood, the body, it's where the spirit is located in time. In time. Mm -hmm. The spirit of a location in time to function yeah. and put on display yeah. God, yeah. the yeah. Father, who is yeah. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I have a, I have, whenever we talk <laughs> about this, I have this picture in my head. You know, when, uh, when, when NASA or whatever sends a person to space mm -hmm. or you know, to the moon or something mm -hmm. like that, to the space station and so on, they never send them in their natural uh, just like how they're like me and you are dressed right now, right, they never send them right. like that. They have to have a because a suit. that it's that's literally a different environment. It's a different world. Let's ah. use that term. Yeah. Yeah. And they have to make sure that they dress them according to that <laughs> world for them to function yes. and fulfill their assignment out there in in, in that space station. But it station. didn't change who they were. But it didn't change who they are, mm -hmm. and they're still on the inside, and they're not that out of shell that they are no that's, that's a not a good them. example yes, so yes. the man in the space suit the man in the space suit would be like our spirit yes. in our body yes. in our body yeah. 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 yeah so in order for the spirit to be legal and function in space and time it needed a body mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. but so the body really is meant to give expression yeah yeah to the, the spirit, spirit. Mm -hmm. so james says as the body without the spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really yeah, the spirit yeah, yeah. why the body is necessary. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that spacesuit without the man inside of it is also dead. Yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> my goodness. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, now, now we'll come to Romans chapter 12. And this is another familiar passage to the church, right? You know, for a lot of persons in the church, Romans chapter 12, especially verse 2. We hear it mentioned so often, but what does it really look like in order for us to experience the power, the life of it? And I, we just read just the first two verses. I beseech you, therefore, based on what is said in chapter 11 about God's mercy being extended to us as Gentiles that were engrafted into the olive tree, which... Um, the original olive tree is Israel. So God is engrafting us to bring us into the one man mm -hmm. that is meant to be in Christ. So Jews and Gentiles is one. Is one. So, so that, I, I, I like that because <laughs> they, they're, there's no, um, they're not preferred over us really. No. Mm -hmm. It's just that God just chose them that to purpose. be the ones to through bring. which his son comes through ah. and have the, you know, bring back redemption to mankind, so to speak. The mm -hmm. only time that there was a, you would say a preference in terms of um, where the law was concerned that was given to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that was the only way they were different in a sense from us. Mm -hmm. But God meant from before the law was even given to them that this is what would come about because when you talk about Abraham and the seed of Abraham, yeah, yeah. Galatians tell us that not seed as in seed. As in yes, yes. biological. Right, right but right. Christ, it yes. was Christ that it was talking about, mm -hmm. that in Christ now both Jews and Gentiles would come to be in that oneness that God intended. Mm -hmm. So the Jewish person, even listening to this program right now, if they don't, um, if they're not submitted to Christ or believing in Christ, in faith, 
mm -hmm. their biological um, um, attachment or linkage to Abraham doesn't secure them no, uh, no. As, a, as a son of God no. in, in God's kingdom. Right? Nope. Okay. It no. doesn't stand up outside mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's why we see what Paul says in Galatians 3, that in Christ we are all one. Mm -hmm. There is neither Jew nor, nor Gentile. Gentile. Yeah. So both the Jew and the Gentile have to come to Christ in order for them to come into sonship. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So we look at what Paul is saying here now. I beseech you therefore because of that mercy that was extended to us as Gentile mm -hmm. to bring us into that uh, um, olive tree. He says, by the mercies of God that you present this is how you now have to continue to live mm -hmm. in order for you to secure that. He said that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we live a life sacrifice unto God, mm -hmm. unto God's purpose, yeah. God's will, what mm -hmm. God wants done. Mm -hmm. So That's we're not talking about us submitting that, submitting our being to him for him to flow and function through us, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where now the, the spirit of power, love and a sound mind mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. plays an important part in that. Mm -hmm. He says, holy, and he tells you the standard that that life must be presented from, holy, and it must be acceptable, acceptable. to God, yeah. which is your reasonable service or worship to him. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, how is this going to play out? Do not conform to this world so the mind that we're supposed to now take on it cannot look like the world that we're coming mm -hmm. from wow mm -hmm. because we were a part of this world mm -hmm. and this world operates from a certain way of thinking mm -hmm. that opposes mm -hmm. yes god yes mm -hmm. yes uh oh <laughs> it opposed God. It opposed the things of God. It opposed the spirit of so God. Even the religious systems that are a part of it that are claiming to have this ah. God honoring components to it, there's still an opposition yes. yeah. to the true yes. living God where that is concerned. Because in order for us to be to have any guarantee that we're free from that is to come to Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Christ says, I am the way. It's Christ says, in, 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 in St. John chapter 17, he said, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ that you sent. Yes, yes. So the only way to that true God is through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So if we go apart from Jesus to come to that God and claim that we, we find a God or come to a God, it's the wrong, wrong God. God. Wrong, one. <laughs> wrong destination. <Wow. laughs> wrong destination. <laughs> the GPS took you on the wrong yeah. path. So Christ is the only true GPS mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Any other GPS that you use, mm. It's taking you in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, do not be conformed to this world any longer, but be transformed. So we're transforming lifestyle. We're transforming in, in, in our thinking, mm -hmm. in our speech, in our living. It's a be transformed. And it tells you how the transformation is going to take place by the renewing mm. of your mind. Right? So now, if the mind is being renewed, it means that we're leaving one way of thinking to another way of thinking. Yes, yes. So we're replacing one with the other. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what transformation That's means. That's what transformation means. It's not that you're taking something from one to add to the other one. Uh -huh. That's not transformation. Uh -huh. That's con that's, complete change. That's conformity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our conformation, right? Mm -hmm. You look at the power of what is said here. The transformed, it goes back to the whole thing of the caterpillar mm -hmm. becoming the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I think about that and the more I think on it and look at it, I said, wow, mm -hmm. you see this creepy, <laughs> ugly <laughs> thing yeah. destroying, this, this destroying, it, it's, a, it's a destructive thing, you know, yes. but yes. yet yes. it's yes. a purpose. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. That caterpillar get away in your cabbage, mm -hmm. your tomato, mm -hmm. Your lettuce and vegetation. It's, it's it's kind of, vegetation. Mm -hmm. No wonder the scripture talk about in restore the years of the cat that the caterpillar mm -hmm. caterpillar by nature it, they're devouring, but mm -hmm. it's for purpose mm -hmm. because they need to eat in order for them to become mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. what they are to become. Because trapped inside of that caterpillar, 
It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Mm -hmm. But there is a process that yes. the caterpillar has to go through. Mm -hmm. But the power of it is that when the caterpillar becomes a butterfly, there is nothing of the caterpillar that can be found in the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Wow. So transformation, look at that. Transformation, yeah. becoming something totally different. different. Wow. And it's saying that we must be transformed. Mm. We must become something else, someone else. Yes. So even when the world look at us, people look Ooh. at us, they're seeing somebody totally different. Yeah. You know, they're seeing somebody that they think they know. Mm -hmm. Oh, we used to go to school. Hey, mm -hmm. hey. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we grew up. But then they look and they're saying, who are you? Yeah. Because the lifestyle is different. Lifestyle is different. Talk is different. Talk is different. Wow. Everything is different. They said, what happened to you? I am born again. What do you mean born again? <laughs> oh, what I, is you know, that? What is that? <laughs> you have to break I that down now. <laughs> I've been changed. What do you mean? What happened? You mean you, you, you're a Christian? No. Um, then what? You know, you go to church? Because again, when we think of what's happening today, the, the reality of it is that when you say you're Christian, it doesn't say a lot today. No, mm -mm. it doesn't Once upon a time, uh -huh. yes. once upon a time, it meant something. But what we have seen happen over the years, it, it doesn't really speak for anything. Mm -mm. And so in this year, Christian, some people say, oh, okay. In their mind. Yeah. Some of them are like, yeah, I'm a Christian too. Yeah. Or whatever. Ah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a Christian too. Mm -hmm. all so Christians. they're saying, okay, so, but mm -hmm. I'm not behaving like you. So what's what, happened what, yeah, really? What's your problem? Yeah. What's your uh -huh. problem? Yeah. <laughs> and this is where it comes in. When this is what we need to see now, where all of this come into play is that when we give ourselves to this, not just quoting it, not just memorizing it, but give ourselves to the process of it, it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the mind that we're now taking on is the mind of Christ. Christ. That's yes. the sound mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're leaving one mind that was completely against God, that saw mm -hmm. God as an enemy, mm -hmm. because he said the carnal mind mm -hmm. is enmity mm -hmm. yes, God. Yes. against God mm -hmm. yes. and cannot be submitted to God. Right. So now we're leaving that mind to take on the mind of Christ. So the renewed mind brings us into transformation and allow us to function in this way now that you may prove mm. Because now the spirit is going, is searching the deep things of God and making it known no. to us. Mm -hmm. So we're proving, we're proving what is good and acceptable and the Look, look, look at this. Yeah. These are big words. <laughs> <laughs> big, Perfect, big words yeah. and powerful words mm -hmm, and, yes. mm -hmm. and, and words that are important to kingdom living. Yeah. Yes. These are uncompromising words. You know, ah. you look at these words, they're not, they're, they're, there's no wishy-washy, if and but thing going on here. And these, these are, are words that I'm either going to believe them yeah. or I'm going to walk away mm -hmm, from them. Mm -hmm. I read it and say, you know what? I, I see what is said here, but I don't think that this is possible. You mean that I can, now, not, not, not when I go in the suite by and by, mm -hmm. Not, you know, when swing low, sweet chariot, stop and make me ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what it's talking about. This is right now, in time, while I'm here, I can know the perfect will of God. That's the mind of God. That's the mind of God. So the good and acceptable and perfect will of God is manifesting in the earth is it's it's hinged on my mind being transformed exactly you know this this is what the so, verse so is saying i think this is this is a this is a big thing because <laughs> if yes. the church if if we can understand that we're not just here to pass time and mm. go to heaven mm. yeah that there's a will of god that a perfect will of god that needs to take expression right, right now, now. Yes, yes. this would change and shift the way we think and what we do business moment because, by moment day by day that right. perfect way. Because, because go back to what we said in the previous episode. When Jesus was here, was the, the question is for somebody to really embrace this now. Was Jesus in the perfect will of God? Yes. And the answer mm -hmm. is yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even, even the religious person would say yes. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're seeing Jesus in this light that is... He's, he's God, right? Mm -hmm. But we need to also accept that he was a man relying completely 
on God. Oh, right. I mean, you, you, even I think we read a scripture earlier and it was saying that he didn't count himself to be equal, equal with God. Equal with God, but, but then, took upon himself but exactly. the form of a man. Form of a man. And then he humbled himself and all these different yeah. things. So, I mean, he had to be submitted to his uh, uh, rules and the, the, the laws that govern man and govern man operate. He had to submit exactly. himself to that and have faith and operate in faith just like we need to do in, in our day he had to do those same yes. things and that's why he it's so it's so powerful that, you know when we think about Yikes. who he is and how he yeah. submitted himself to that look it's, at it's this just, it's, it's look, at, look, at, look at what happened mm -hmm. in, in 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 when he said god when he said he, he taught it not equal to be robbery to be equal with god mm -hmm. because he was god he was god yeah now he took on him the form of a servant in the form of a man mm -hmm. so when he become man he gave up being God. Mm -hmm. But watch this, it was still God that was living out through the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way in which it was happening is that he as a man is submitted to God to live out what he wants done mm -hmm. through him. Mm -hmm. To fulfill that perfect will of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, that's an example for us mm -hmm. as yes, sons today. Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 the sound mind, the, 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 the power, the love oh, and the sound, sound mind that is given to us now, yeah. It's given from God. Mm -hmm. So when we now accept it and submit it to it, it's the same way how Jesus lived. Yes, yes. yes. Same. And, and yes. The same, not, not less, and, not more. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. you say that religious people, <gasps> that's blasphemy, that what? You're blaspheming. You mean I can live like Jesus? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so, that, yes. so that the body actually display who God is. Ah. Yes. The body, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what he yes. meant yes. for the body. Yes. The, the, the scripture, when I read it and, 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 and the first time, and I step and I think about it, the body, the, the, um, uh, the life is more than food, food. and the body is more than clothing. Mm -hmm. yes. So, hmm, life is more than food. So it means that I'm not just here to eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the body is more than clothes. The body is not here just to wear clothes. Yeah, just to dress up and look just nice. Just to dress up and look nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you have to ask yourself yeah. the question now, what is the purpose of the body? First mm. Corinthians chapter 3, mm -hmm. chapter 6, 2 yeah. Corinthians chapter 6, your body is yeah. the yeah. temple yeah. of yeah. the living God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God mm -hmm. meant for the body mm -hmm. to give expression yes. of him mm -hmm. in time. Mm -hmm. So he's in the body living out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Christ himself. He's the visible expression ah. of the invisible God. And he's the radiance. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> we're we picking on that. I was, I, was, I was trying to fathom that the other day. I, was, I, was, I don't know if I was driving to work or whatever I was doing, but that came to me when I saw the sun and it's like, the rays of the sun, we would not know that the sun exists, like, you know, the one, yeah, the physical yeah, yeah, one yeah, outside, yeah, 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 yeah. if the rays were not transmitted mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. earth. Yeah, yeah. And God is saying that <laughs> the same way how the physical sun transmits its rays and mm -hmm. make you know that, hey, I'm here. Yes. The sun, Christ, the sun was put on display in that same fashion mm -hmm. to put out, to show off the, 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 the invisible father. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. The, 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 because God is invisible to what is in time. Mm -hmm. God is invisible to what is in space and so on, right? So how do we measure the invisible in the visible? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> he put a visible in the visible so that invisible can dwell in that visible mm -hmm. to be displayed on the visible. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that is spirit. <laughs> that's the spirit yes. is invisible. That's yeah. the yeah. spirit. The spirit is invisible, yes. Yes. dwelling in a, a visible, visible body, body. Mm -hmm. yeah. and expressing himself yes. in the visible. Yes. So in the visible, people see certain things and say, that's not yeah. supposed to happen in the visible. Mm -hmm. Because there is nothing in the visible to con to even there's nothing yeah. to give any kind of expression to that to sustain that are even to contain it. But you cannot deny yeah. mm -hmm. that you're seeing it in the visible. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even when they saw Jesus, and they, they, well, at one point, you know, when, they, when they, they, they decide to stone Jesus because he said he's the son of God, Jesus said, okay, I'm willing for you to stone me. But for which <laughs> of these good works? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They said, oh, for a good work? We will not stone you, yeah. but because you are blaspheming, <laughs> saying that you're a son of God. Oh boy! And Jesus was saying, Jesus wanted them to understand. 
without me being the son of God, the good works that you would not mm -hmm. turn if I would exist. not be mm -hmm. yes. without me being the son of God. Right. Because the works is speaking on that behalf. Yes. 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 yes, And it's the same way the church is supposed to. Listen to me, people. It's the <laughs> same way yes. the church is supposed to be functioning in the world. Mm -hmm. So when we're transformed, when we're transformed, mm -hmm. The transformation disconnect us from the world mm -hmm. and reconnect us mm -hmm. to God's world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you transform. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and a lot of people can relate to transformers. They mm -hmm. start out as cartoons until now we have the movie tra yeah, yeah. franchise yes. oh, yeah. and yeah. bringing in billions of dollars to Hollywood. Now we see transformer. We see these Autobots and all of these things, robots. Mm -hmm. Then they, they scan a, a car and take on everything about the car that you see the car and you would know that it's a robot yes, from yes, some yes, other yes, planet yes, or yes, yes. completely mm -hmm. until they come back into being whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, God says that by the Spirit, when you, when you are born again, by the Spirit of the living God in you, mm -hmm. your mind can take on another mind right. mm -hmm. and the mind is the mind of christ yes and that's the sound notice you know sound mind mm -hmm. so so it's a mind that is complete Discipline. it's a mind that is disciplined it's a mind that is complete in everything that god wants mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh because that mind god. is yeah. thinking like god that mm -hmm. mind is yeah. thinking mm -hmm. like god yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. the mind now is the seat and center of all activities in you know, both Spiritual and physical. Right. Yeah, the oh. mind. Yeah. You see, th yeah. this is this is wow. a big thing. Because wow. if the church, if those of us who are born again don't understand this principle, mm -hmm. I'll call it a principle. Mm -hmm. If we don't yeah, understand yeah, it, this it principle, principle, we'll never be able mm -hmm. to be or manifest who we truly ought to be and manifest from heaven perspective. Because mm -hmm. if because the fact that it's telling me to do this, yeah. it's telling me that I can operate a different way. I, yeah, I can, yeah, I, I can yeah. stay conformed. That's what it's, you know, I, I can stay conformed. But if you stay conformed, what God intend to express through your life will never be a reality. And the quality of life that you're supposed to experience, it will never be a reality. Mm -hmm. However, the reality is here that the mind can be transformed. Mm -hmm. And it's up to, the thing is, <laughs> it's, wow. The transformation of my mind, it's not God that's going to do it either. Because if he does that, he's violating his own law and I his own have principle. To, yeah. I have it's something to. that I have to engage myself yeah. in yeah. 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 And, and, and submit to his spirit yeah. and, and allow you know, the spirit of Christ to be formed, developed in me, that my thinking now becomes just like him. And as I'm thinking just like him, I'm now able to fulfill that acceptable and perfect will yeah. that he has for me and for you know for the church on a whole to fulfill so the scriptures actually tell you have the ability to transform it's, it's in you it's mm -hmm. in you so yeah. what it's, yeah christ is you have that ability and then again this is where um the spirit dwells mm -hmm. this is where the spirit dwells you know in the mind you ever have the spirit of the mind mm -hmm. Because the mind, remember, you have a spirit of the mind, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to mm -hmm. uh, just thinking your mind it, because it's flesh. Mm -hmm. There's a spirit, well, you know, there's a spirit of the mind. We're running out of time. <laughs> so we're going to have to close this one and we'll pick it up again next time. But as you're talking about the mind, it, it's such a powerful part of who we are. Actions and everything starts with a thought from the mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we have the right mind, mm. right? Uh, Romans 12 and verse 2 says, and do not be conformed to this world. That means not having the mind of this world, mm. but be transformed, be changed, become different by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That can only be displayed through a renewed mind, mm. which yes. is the mind of Christ. Yeah. Mm. This has been Kingdom Living Now. Join us again next time as we continue to talk about the powerful mandate of the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is here. It's right here, it's not near, it's right now. It's right here, it's not near, it's right now. Say, it's here, not near. It's here right now. 
It's here, not near. It's here right now. Oh, oh. It's here, not near. It's here right now. Say.